So after almost 45 million sales, making it the world's best-selling car, Toyota has released a bigger, safer, more stylish, but also more expensive 12th generation Corolla. Does it justify the price rises? Let's find out. So I'm driving the top spec Corolla ZR Hybrid. And the first thing you noticed is the dramatic step up market in terms of refinement and material quality. There's soft touch surfaces everywhere, dash, doors. In the top spec ZR, there's red highlights everywhere, which is sporty, but perhaps not to everyone's taste. It's also vastly quieter than before. Engine refinement is a real highlight. Ride quality is superb. But the safety kit is the biggest story here. Matching the best in its class, or bettering, there's autonomous emergency braking, there's automatic high beam, there's adaptive cruise control, there's lane departure warning with steering assist. There's also a clever new infotainment system, which works well enough, but doesn't really step ahead of its rivals. And there's no Apple CarPlay. And while I'm complaining, the front seats are too high for my liking. The rear seat is really cramped for tall passengers. And the boot is absolutely tiny and triangular in shape, so you couldn't even get a full-size rectangular suitcase in there. But performance is good, because finally Toyota has seen fit to fit a bigger two-litre engine like all of its key rivals. There's 125 kilowatts, which matches most of its competitors. The CVT Auto is still a little bit slurry, so too the manual is a little bit doughy in the base model. But the hybrid I'm driving now is more refined in most respects, but it's also less powerful than before and less efficient. It's better in day-to-day -day use, there's less inconsistent brake feel at low speeds, but really I expected the hybrid to be a bigger step forward. So the key advances here are really safety, refinement and ride handling. On the road it's quiet, it's refined, ride comfort is outstanding. Even on the 18 inch tyres of the ZR which are a little bit loud. But overall the Corolla is now no Golf but it's a lot closer to it. <laughs> 